We are on the brink of a potential war in Europe. One of Putin's greatest fears is a strong NATO with a strong military posture in the frontline states of the Baltics and Poland and Romania and so forth. This crisis that he's manufactured has actually pulled NATO together, reinvigorated its sense of purpose and importance and, and buy-in across the board and will create a more robust NATO posture facing Russia. If Russia comes in with its full military might, Ukraine will not be able to stop them, right? So they will have some tactical victories and put, be able to per, potentially put Kiev under siege and put huge pressure on the government, maybe even topple the government. And you can be sure that Western powers, at least some number of them, will be supporting that insurgency as much as possible. There'll be complete um, diplomatic isolation. You can expect NATO to meet, EU to meet, Putin to be unwelcome anywhere in the world except maybe, you know, meeting with Xi in Beijing. Every time uh, Putin makes a move or at least sends a signal, someone from the Biden administration comes forward and lays it out for the American public. We've heard talk about, well, the cyber attacks, obviously, but a false flag operation, the numbers that are being amassed, the readiness of the troop posture of the Russians. Uh, isn't that unusual? And what do you think the Biden administration's accomplishing with this? I think they have decided to be in a proactive posture because one thing we know about Putin, he is a master of disinformation and misinformation and creating untrue, you know, making lies seem like new facts. Almost certainly cyber will become a dimension of this. How can we back up Ukraine and help restore, you know, give them some resilience under attack? Real success would be convincing Putin up front that he can't succeed or the cost is too high. No one wants to see in the 21st century an authoritarian government be able to overthrow a sovereign, however imperfect democracy, but a democracy and succeed.